mean, like a really creepy dog. Yeah, see, right? he signed all his letters to the Queen with this symbol, meaning he was her eyes. The original 007, you see, look, 007. Not really that relevant. So it was John Dee who sent Drake to Arabia? Yeah, it looks that way. Dee and Elizabeth. And Walsingham. Great, but what for? Well, that's the million dollar question, isn't it? And this is where T.E. Lawrence comes in. See, before Lawrence became Lawrence of Arabia... Great film. He was an archaeologist. And even when he was just a kid, he was obsessed with history. Everything to do with knights and the Crusades. And he traveled all over, documenting every Crusader site he could find. It, it's all in here. All right, you've lost me completely, kid. What the hell has this got to do with Drake? I'm getting to that. See, after the war, Lawrence said that if he were ever to go back to Arabia, it would be to search for this place he called the Atlantis of the Sands. Now, the legend crops up over and over again under different names. Ubar, Aram of the Pillars, the City of Brass. But the story is always the same. Well, city of immeasurable wealth. Destroyed by God for its arrogance. Swallowed forever in the sands of the Rubokali Desert. Right here. Well, <laughs> I like the immeasurable wealth part anyway. And you think this is what Elizabeth and Dee sent Drake after? Oh, yeah. And more importantly, it's what Marlowe is after. So, wait. If Drake was on a mission from the Queen to find this place, why all the secrecy? I mean, it looks like he went to a lot of trouble to hide whatever he found, even from Her Majesty. I don't know. Oh, oh, I'm sorry, what was that? No, hang on a second, because if you recall the last time we went halfway around the world searching for a lost city, things got more than a little dicey. Yeah, but this time we have the upper hand. I mean, look, Drake only had half the clues, Lawrence only had half. We have both, and Marlowe has nothing. Small problem. The Rubalkali Desert, 600 miles across. The Bedouin go around the damn thing. And even if we knew where it was, which we don't, we would die trying to find Just it. Just hold on. You see these symbols here? Yeah. Looks like Sabian's script. Sabian's script. Right. Look, the Crusaders were searching for the same lost city a thousand years ago. But out of all the sites Lawrence documented, only two are marked with these symbols. One in Syria, the other in France. No, you two are going to Syria. We're heading to France. Look, we track down these clues. We find Lawrence's lost city. I'm sure of it. Well, and then what? How are we going to get across 600 miles of impossible wasteland? Well, it's in the middle of the desert. So technically, it'd be about 300 miles. Oh. <laughs> Look, I don't know. We'll figure it out. We burn that bridge when we get to it, eh? Exactly. What do you say? What the hell? Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> End of the line, I guess. <sighs> Don't. <laughs> Looks like we're going the rest of the way on foot. What? Leave it to you to find a friggin' jungle in the middle of France. <laughs> well, we're definitely headed in the right direction. Chateau should be this way. Not too far. Come on. Yeah. Not too far? <laughs> Alright, here we go. Enough, Chapter 6, the, the Chateau. Like that time you got us lost in Peru? Oh, you really want to bring up Peru? You're not I was 15, Sully. Should have known when I met you that I'd be in prison within a year. <laughs> you were headed that way all on your own. <laughs> Besides, I got you out, didn't I? Always get you out. <laughs> Just follow the path and, and you'll find your way. Come on, through here. There it is. Just like in Lawrence's notes. You gotta have more faith in me, Sully. Of course, I don't remember this ravine being on the. We got only a pistol with right now. Just put that in. All right. Come on, we'll find another way around. So I think we gotta see. Oh yeah, we gotta go this way. Hey, is that a pan flute? This guy must be must be one crazy ass musician.
see here. Um, do I go this way? This way. Watch your step. Who? I don't know, kid. You sure we're in the right place? This doesn't seem old enough to be a crusader castle. It's more like Renaissance. You haven't been reading my books again, have you, Sully? <laughs> now, Lawrence says the original castle was built in the 11th century. The rest was added on later. Let's see here. Uh, do I just jump across? I think. <laughs> yep. Jump. Ooh. Oh, this looks sketchy. Ooh. Ah, what are you waiting for? I loosened it up for you. Yeah, that's the problem. There's a truck here. Look, Sully, your first car. Oh, man. That's a 1927 Auburn. Yeah? What's this, Mr. Wizard? Lawn art. Pretty tacky. <laughs> now, the knight who owned this castle, Lord Godfrey, returned from the Crusades in the 12th century. According mm -hmm. to Lawrence, mm -hmm. all that's left of the original castle... Yeah, I have nothing to say right now. Gardens, ...if Godfrey brought any secrets uh, back from Arabia. There's a that's pipe here, I'm gonna climb on it. In this way. Climb up. Climb up. Climb up. Then, uh, let's see. Oh, jump across. What about that window above you? I don't want to cut myself. Climb on down, just climb across. Pretty much just follow the red. And then, and then, like, red bricks, red pipes, shit like that. Right, nice going, kid. Be right back. Let's see, we go this way. Alright, back up. I'll shoot the lock off. Make sure that's the only thing you shoot off. I said lock. Yeah. Sully so so hops in and good? pretty much that's it. Okay. We gotta make our way through the chateau to the gardens. That's where we'll find the old keep. No, I don't remember where exactly to, to, to oh, go. Man, look at this place. Get it open. This damn beam's in the way. Yeah, we gotta get some leverage. Think you can get up there? You can try. Let's see, uh, oh, we can climb this chain, I think. Maybe not. Uh, nope. Maybe this way? No. Hey, help me lift this up. Wait, where's Sully? Oh, over there. Do it. Be careful up there. Old damn thing's rotten. Looks like those chandeliers are on some kind of pulley system. Yeah, must be how they lowered them down to clean them. Hey, there's some kind of mechanism over there. So we jump onto the chandelier. <laughs> jump across. I have an idea. This raises that chandelier back up. Oh, that's cool. yeah. We jump across onto the chandelier. Oh, crazy. Watch it, that thing's coming out of the ceiling. Okay, that didn't work as planned, but that's okay. We just climb back up. Uh, 
then jump across onto this. Alright, jump. Alright, here we go. Alright, got it. There. I'm in. Let me just hop on down. Popcorn machine? <laughs> it does kind of look like a popcorn machine, but it's a uh, looks like a like a grandfather clock of some sort. Okay, let's see if we can find a way to that tower. Here's the kitchen with some pots and pans here. But where's the goddamn woman with the sandwiches? <laughs> see, climb up here. Um 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 um. Hop into here. I guess this was like the main foyer area. Hey Nate. Foyer tower. Looks pretty old. Yeah. That matches the one in Lawrence's notebook. That must be it. Nice. Thanks. All right, let's continue onward. Let's see. I go this way, I think. No. Um. Oh, I see. There's an open window there. Go through this way, I think. Looks like we can get through here. Yeah? Yeah. Come on. We got it. Watch this! Oh, thanks. Only a little puzzle here, I, I think. Hey, Nate. Isn't this the same symbol that was on the tower? Yeah. That's gotta mean something, right? Maybe a secret passage? In a fireplace? Kinda on the nose, don't you think? Yeah, too simple. Hey, check out these suits of armor. Wait, Lawrence made a note about something like this. Alright, so open up the notebook. Yeah, here, see? Four knights. With an axe, a shield, a sword, and a morning star. Just like the ones in this room. Okay, let's see here. Alright, so the knight with the shield faces the knight with the axe. Maybe we gotta turn each knight so it's facing the right way. Yeah, but what's the right way? And then the knight with the axe is facing the knight with the shield. So these two guys got to face each other. And walk over this way. Okay. The knight with the morning star faces the knight with the shield. Turn this. Uh, and there we go. Done. Well, well. A secret passage. Okay. I'll push, you pull. On three, ready? Wait. One, two, pull, or one, two, three, pull? Just pull. Got it. Eight? Hey, you all right? Yeah. Yeah, I'll live. There's no way I'm getting back up there. I'm gonna head this way. Just meet me on the other side. You got it. You be careful down there. 